I would start coming out of the chemo probably like maybe Friday night into Saturday. But then the cycle starts all over again. I mean, I, I estimate that, you know, my care has probably cost over $100,000 by this point. Um, and that includes medication, doctor visits, the chemotherapy, the surgery, CAT scans, colonoscopies. It happened around one o'clock in the afternoon, I believe. I got a call from um, my, my gastrologist and he said, well, you know, I have some bad news here. He said, well, you know, the test came back to show it's malignant. It's cancer. He said to me, do, do you know what to do next? And I said, no, I really don't. For nine years, I had no health insurance. I had access to healthcare through free clinics. And I was thankful for that. But, you know, when you receive a cancer diagnosis, I'm not sure if the free clinics would have the resources to really treat you for that. In March of 2015, I had um, qualified for health insurance when Governor Tom Wolf accepted the expanded uh, Medicaid funding under the Affordable Care Act. You know, in my situation, it's very dire having a cancer diagnosis, but you can simply be driving down the street and get into a car accident. If you didn't have health insurance, you could, you could be in a lot of trouble financially. Even though I'm done with chemo, I'm still under five years of surveillance from my oncology doctors, which means more doctor visits, more colonoscopies, more CAT scans, more blood work. I can't afford to pay for that out of pocket. I simply can't. You have a group of legislators who want to rip away health care from 30 million Americans. As long as I'm still here, as long as I'm still alive, I'm going to continue to fight this. People's lives are depending upon the Affordable Care Act.